Uh, so these are my top 10. Hey, what's going on guys? Brian Keir here. Uh, today I'm gonna be breaking down my top 10 choices for growth and self-improvement books to get you started. So I think there's a lot of great stuff out there, but sometimes it can be a little hard to navigate all the options. Some of these you probably have heard before, um, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. This book is gonna be mainly about your mindset and the, your perspective of the world. It's Don Miguel Ruiz's The Four Agreements. Now, a lot of you probably have heard of this book before, it's become very popular. And the main principles of it are be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions. Always do your best. In this book, Don Miguel Ruiz shares wisdom from the Totec Mexican culture where he talks about not falling into this false dream of society, rules of expectations and, and judgment. It's a really good book for really anybody that's trying to become a better person or just trying to have a different perspective on things. I have those four agreements kind of plastered everywhere on little sticky notes just so that I don't forget them because I think that those core principles are so important for the way we behave in society and the way we act and treat each other and ourselves that that alone is a great takeaway. It goes a lot deeper on the whole Toltec culture and it's really interesting. It really does give you a really interesting perspective of the world. One of my favorite things about it is the idea that we can choose to live on heaven or, or hell. It just depends on how we see the world. Crush It by Gary, Gary Wainerchuk. Wainerchuk? I think that's the same. Crush It by Gary Wainerchuk. I think he released that in 2009. That book kind of breaks down the importance of your social media and creating content and how much that can add to your own business. I know the book is more than 10 years old, but it's still very relevant today. So if you're trying to figure out the whole social media world and trying to kind of get in a good mindset of you not worrying too much about how your audience receives everything that you're putting out and just focus on putting out your message and putting out content, just kind of sharing that. One of my favorite takeaways from the book is that anything is better than zero. So just getting started and putting yourself out there is better than not doing anything and just waiting for a perfect moment or whatever. Great book to get yourself in that mindset. Next, kind of on the same sort of subject, uh, is a book I recently read is called YouTube Secrets by Sean Carnell and Benji Travis, Cannell, so, sorry, Sean Cannell. <laughs> They're the guys from Think Media and all the Think Media related YouTube stuff and podcasts that I do. I listen to their podcasts all the time. It breaks down a lot of the back end of YouTube and how to navigate through there. It's really good if you're thinking of starting on YouTube or if you're already on YouTube and trying to figure it out. It gives you a lot of great strategies and different ways to monetize your YouTube channel. I think it's for anybody that's, uh, really anybody that has a business, this book might be very important because it just might make you realize that maybe a, a YouTube channel that you might not have thought had any value will add a lot of value to both your business and your customers. Very good book, very helpful. I am right now reading it for the second time. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to figure out the whole YouTube thing. Even though I've been using YouTube for years, there's a lot of great content here. And a lot of it they share for free on their channels. But, you know, if you'd like to have everything kind of together in one place, this is a book to check out. Next, this one is really one of my favorites on this list. It's a quick, easy read. It's called Zen and the Art of Happiness. This book kind of breaks down the idea, the universal law that everything that happens to you is the best thing that could happen. And it's a really good book to get yourself. Now it's, it can be very hard to accept that mindset and they even talk about that in the book, but it can be a very good book just to keep yourself on a positive daily attitude about things that happen to you. I know we don't always go through the best things, but just believing that those things are good, everything that's bad for you is actually good eventually or in the long run, that will help you react to situations in a different way. So if you're say in a, in a bad situation and if you're only looking at the negative, then your reaction is likely to be negative whereas opposed to if, if you're looking at it from a positive perspective, then you might instead put in some more positive work or just keep pushing in a way that you 
more easily navigate through that situation or you actually be able to really harness the the positive aspects of those things and it's interesting because they even go into kind of uh, the effect of positive and negative thoughts in your body from like a molecular level now the book is not entirely scientific based but that is an interesting way to see it also from a scientific perspective that your body craves more of what it gets if you constantly feed it negativity that's what it's going to want if you do healthy things you're going to want to do more healthy things and so on and so forth so it's a very good book to get your mind in that sweet spot kind of i like to go back to it when i kind of forget certain things and you know sometimes we can be going through life and just really <laughs> uh, and, you know really our monkey brain taking control and and we don't stop to think about gratitude and just the the, the reality of the situation which is that you know the, the the universe is looking out for you so good book for anybody any religion whatever doesn't matter this is another i love this author john c maxwell and this is the 17 essential qualities of a team player now this book is uh, again a very short read as you can see here and john c maxwell has an enormous series about leadership and uh, there's another one called relationships that's also very good but this one just breaks down 17 basic qualities of a team player a uh, very good book if you're in uh, any team if environment or if you're trying to become a leader and and be better as a as a team member uh, this book is going to help you a lot in this book he explores making your actions count in the long run thinking of others first instead of yourself making sacrifices for the greater good of your team it talks about being adaptable collaboration all sorts of great stuff about teams the infinite game by simon sisnak or however you pronounce them this book kind of so it kind of talks about how to have the, like the mentality of leading a, a, a company or, or a movement or whatever and kind of not having that short game mentality but a long-term game of what you're building of, of building something that's greater than yourself and although this is kind of business centered I think that there's a, there's a lot of tips here that you can kind of take on to you like adapt to your own life because in some ways uh, it, it is beneficial to kind of lead your life in a way of a businessman and an entrepreneur because really your life is your business uh, moving on uh, this one a classic think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill I'm sure you've heard of this one it's basically about your mentality having that mindset that's gonna allow you to have that growth because if you don't have the mentality you don't have the the proper actions and I want to read a little note that I put my main takeaway from this book all achievement begins with a burning desire for something definite and the willingness to get up and keep at it in the face of failure just setting up your mindset for the long run and for kind of accomplishing your goals kind of navigate you through that path of growth as you go uh, what type of mentality you need to have to really scale that now this one's very popular and uh, it's been a lot of talk about it is uh, rich dad poor dad i really like most of their books their series uh there's a lot of good stuff stuff about uh, real estate and and it, you know they have a lot of Uh, interesting stuff about corporations and things like that and basically this teaches you the difference between assets and liabilities and kind of getting started on that process of leaving the rat race uh, they even have I recommend you check out uh, cash flow I'll put the link in the description but they have a game you can buy the board or you can play the game for free online which is cash flow and kind of this game teaches you the core principles of uh cash flow of cash flow kind of get you in the right thinking mentality about about assets and liabilities to get you out of that rat race i know this is exactly what i just said a minute ago but <laughs> the the board game the board game really helps you kind of 
uh, understand further what the book you know is talking about and the book is very it's an easy read it's very interesting there's a lot of stuff that I didn't immediately understand when I read the book but then later on in researching more and learning other things I kind of started understanding this more but he also talks about his personal story of how he got started from from a kid basically so it's pretty interesting to check out all-time classic very old book how to win friends and influence people uh, by Dale Carnegie now this book I'm sure you've heard of it but it's still very influential still very important to this day and it's gonna teach you the core principles of kind of sincerely relating with people and building rapport and teaches you the, the skills necessary to engage with people and this book is very good because say you're in the um, even uh, I've heard the guys from from uh, think media talk about it because really say you're in the YouTube game a lot of the principles here are gonna help you build that community and the book does say that it's important to do it sincerely and with you know gen with genuine gen you know sincerely obviously but uh, from the perspective of somebody that's trying to create a community and grow a strong community you really want to check out some of the principles of this book that are going to really help you make those connections with people i know a lot of people might have especially after spending a year not talking to much people it, you might have forgotten how to uh, how to interact i, I know i did <laughs> and so a good book for for getting those core ideas in your head less but not least um, the one thing sorry I took out the cover because I, I like this better it's it's really about focusing on one thing that's going to make all the other things easier or unnecessary and they even have they have a very good I a very cool thing here about the kind of dominoes and the impact see here the the impact of doing something small that's gonna take on and on a stronger kind of compound over time it's basically about maximizing your efforts in one area to have the best results he also goes into the pareto principle which is also known as the 80 20 rule which talks about how 80 percent of your results will come from 20 percent of your efforts and he also kind of talks about the reality of that work-life balance uh, he even has a little has a little drawing here of what that really looks like and it's I think it's interesting because everybody's always talking about oh work-life balance work-life balance but the reality is is that there's no such thing as a perfectly balanced work and life and whatever if you're trying to accomplish things sometimes you're gonna have to put in extra work in one side and then maybe later you're gonna have to compensate on another I should have marked this before <laughs> But here we go work life see it's kind of crazy <laughs> it's, it's hard especially nowadays to choose one thing to do I know I have a lot of trouble with that but when you focus on one thing you really maximize the potential of that thing instead of bringing yourself short in many different ways and later on you can start tackling other things that you want uh, kind of compound that over time um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the, my 10 books to, to get you started in the self-improvement growth uh, game and if you like the this video please click the like button it help me out a lot and stay tuned for some more videos about different stuff <laughs>